So today in Beirut we were talking about uh, business and human rights and the role that business has in delivering human rights for people or certainly not preventing people from uh, enjoying their human rights. Um, we talked about the, uh, the challenges in public-private partnerships. We talked about the potential that foreign direct investment has in delivering the sustainable development goals. Um, and we talked about the role of uh, multinationals in, in providing the kind of economic activity that uh, could ultimately lead to uh, delivering people's human rights or certainly promoting um, sustainable development. Um, what we also talked about was the importance of multinationals and individuals paying their taxes as a way of ensuring that states have enough revenue with which to deliver the essential public services on which uh, the, sus the sustainable development goals will, um, will, f will succeed or fail. At the moment we know that uh, more money is being lost to developing countries to multinational corporate tax avoidance and evasion than they're receiving an aid. So there's a net, there's a net outflow of money from these countries who have been deprived of the resources that they need to deliver. In most cases, or in a lot of cases anyway, are life-saving um, public services. So that's the, the starting point from which we're at, and uh, Christian Aid, partner of uh, ANND, has been working on since 2007 to try to highlight the secrecy that is allowing that to happen and uh, with some success and I think everybody's now aware of tax as a development issue and the importance that that will play. Certainly at the uh, Addis Ababa Financing for Development Conference last year, tax was up front and central as uh, developing countries in particular pushed for a stronger role in develop for, for developing countries in ensuring that uh, they had a say in setting the rules for international tax reform. Fortunately that wasn't successful, but there is a momentum behind this that we hope, and this conference over the next two days is an important contribution to that, that the momentum will ensure that there is greater transparency around what multinationals do in each of the countries in which they are working in that citizens can hold them to account and that the state can in turn hold companies to account for what they're doing and by way of, and, and through that promoting a much more sustainable development uh, pathway for all of us. And what do you uh, find the link between human rights and, uh, and tax? The link between um, human rights and tax is perhaps not immediately obvious to everybody but there's some really key elements to tax that make it a, a fundamental human rights issue. The first is just the, the uh, mobilization of resources. You need to generate the resources in order to deliver the services. The second one is around priority setting. More than any ministerial white paper or government statement, you can tell what a government's true priorities are by the tax policies that they set. You can see who they choose to incentivize, who they choose to disincentivize, what section of the economy or society they're choosing to encourage or stimulate, and those they're choosing to neglect. That tells you more about where, the, where their priorities are than anything else. Accountability, that's a fundamental element of the human rights uh, narrative and, and, and discourse. And that's uh, a functioning and healthy taxation system promotes that two-way uh, mutual accountability citizens to state and state to citizen. And of course there's the important element of extraterritoriality, which is a fundamental principle of human rights discourse as well. And that requires of us, particularly I think in those of us in, uh, in the developed world or you know in OECD countries, where we have a, an obligation to ensure that the tax policies that we employ in our countries aren't undermining the tax take of other countries. And that's particularly important these days as countries compete with each other to offer companies lower and lower and lower tax rates to entice them into their countries. So that's, they're, they're, they're the fundamental principles. There's one more that I forgot, and of course, perhaps arguably the most important one around redistribution. Redistribution is an essential part of the tax function. 
It's what redistributes money from those that have to those that don't have. And they're the five things that make tax a clear human rights issue.